Hello. In this video, we are going through a number of problems for solving the ICR. This particular first problem is taken from page number 227, problem number 2, which is given in your resource book. Please refer that for the question. I will just give the given data over here. It says that the angular velocity of the link AB is 3 radians per second. They have not specified the direction of this angular velocity of this rod. So what we can do is we can simply just assume a particular value and add the direction and just maintain it over here. So I will consider it to be moving anticlockwise. So omega AB is given as 3 radians per second. The next part is that we are supposed to determine the velocity of the block C and the angular velocity of the connecting link BC. So I will just write down the question over here. They want us to find out VC and they want us to find out omega BC. So even before we start the problem and analyze it, we have to first try and identify all the links that are having the particular motion. So I have the first link as AB. AB is a purely rotational object. So it has its center of rotation at A. Then we have BC, which is definitely going to be in general plane motion. How? Because the slider C is just going to move in the horizontal direction, forward or backward. So in such a case, we have to just be able to identify the link which is under general plane motion. So for us this link BC is under general plane motion whose ICR we shall be able to locate. Now how do we do that? It is very simple. First of all we need to get the direction of velocities of any two points on the link which is for us B and C. We know that C is going to move only in the horizontal direction. So let us assume VC over here we may define which direction is the VC later on but for us it is just horizontal we are more interested in just the perpendiculars of the direction of velocity so that is going to be vertical and the velocity of this point B when considered from link AB so let us consider link AB if AB is rotating in this direction my point B shall be perpendicular VB over here. Now, let us draw perpendiculars from both the points. I will draw perpendicular from this point C as well. they are intersecting this point is now my ICR point for the link BC so as we people know that ICR is going to be the point along which we may assume the entire link BC to be rotating at this just given instant so let us say we can say that this is my omega BC what I have to do is, I have to just find out the velocity VB and in terms of velocity VB, I can find out omega BC over here and with the help of omega BC, I can find out the velocity of point C. So how do we do that? Now for doing that, we have to first of all find out the velocity VB with respect to the link AB. Link AB is given its omega AB. And I also know the distance AB which is given as 60 centimeters. So based on that, I may be able to find out the velocity VB using the equation or maybe the formula. Let us start with the solution itself. I can say that VB will be equal to AB into omega AB. So here, AB is given as 60 centimeters into omega AB is given as 3 
so this gives me 180 centimeters per second so just note this now I also know that VB is just not the point on AB it is also a point on BC so VB shall also be having the velocity VB shall also be related to Omega BC so I'll also be able to write it down as VB can as well be written as Omega BC into the distance I B C to B I B C to B now my job over here is to find out the distance I B C to B because I know V B I will be able to find out Omega B C so how do I find this out for this let me consider the triangle I B C in this triangle I know this angle this total is definitely 90 this is 90 so if this is 45 this has to be yes 45 also this is 30 and because this is 45 and these two lines are parallel they become alternate angles and this becomes total is 45 minus 30 this will give me 15 degrees so what is left out over here this particular angle will be 180 minus 45 minus 15 which will be equal to 120 degrees so now I have got three angles known in this particular triangle and I also know length of one of the sides so by using the sine rule I will just start solving over here in triangle I and let me say B C I using sine rule I can say that BC upon sine of 120 shall be equal to CI BC upon sine of opposite angle which is 15 degrees will be equal to B I B C upon sine of 45 degrees I know what is B C B C is given as 90 centimeters so when I solve this in my calculator I will be able to get I C I B C which will be equal to 26.89 centimeters and B I B C which will be equal to 73.48 centimeters in this video you may like to pause the video and get the calculations done or maybe even the construction so it is recommended that it is easy for you to learn while doing things so just try and draw the things wherever applicable and solve things wherever applicable and at the same time pause the video so that you can actually learn by doing the problem itself now i have got the distance b i b c over here which was required which was required over here now let me just go back to let me call this equation as one i will be using this equation one from 1 I can say that 180 is equal to Omega BC into BIBC is 73.48 so from here I can find out Omega BC which when I calculate should come out to be 2.45 radians per second so we have got the omega bc now now using this omega bc and the distance c i b c i will be definitely be able to find out the velocity v c is it not so let me just use the same value over here or the same data i can write v c is equal to c i 
BC into omega BC. I know CIBC I had just found out earlier which was 26.89 into the omega BC I just found out was 2.45. So when we equate all these things we will be able to find out VC. VC will be equal to somewhere around 66.15 centimeters per second. In the book the answer is given as 67. Maybe that is because of rounding of the figures. But if you get 66.15 centimeters per second that is also correct. So I hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.